Hi everybody, this is Jody Lester and you're on Elevated Living at ElevateMe.org and this is your Daily Lift. We are continuing our November series of presentation and today I wanted to talk to you about consistency. Now consistency is one of the main components of success from one of my mentors and I believe that that's true for all of us. And I've struggled with consistency. I don't know about you, but it can be difficult. Life gets in the way and our daily routine gets interrupted. And often the thing that isn't a habit already is the first thing that gets thrown out of the window. So how do we remain consistent? Just make it a habit. And the only way you can make it a habit is by being consistent. It's a bit of a circular reasoning, but it works. You just have to press yourself to keep doing it. And the more you do it, the easier it is to do it. It doesn't make doing the thing easier, but it becomes a part of your routine. And this ties into presentation in how we are presenting. Again, from our visuals all the way to our speech to our 30-minute monologue or our 30-second elevator pitch we need to be consistent that will trigger a response especially when you're doing a 30 second elevator pitch when you've got your quick wit about you and if you have a standard go-to phrase or uh, your montage or you have your 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 tagline whatever that is that quick thing if you practice it and you're consistent you usually say the same couple of things you don't have to even think about it and your presentation is dead on because you sound very confident in what you're presenting and it's comfortable coming out of your mouth because it's what you always use when you're talking about doing something a bit more lengthy like a training or a presentation or you're speaking at an engagement or you have the floor for whatever reason and you have a bit of time then you want to make sure you're consistent. Use your same product descriptions. Pretty much keep your mission and your vision standard. Don't try to make changes in mid-presentation. Be consistent. It will come across a lot more confident, a lot more controlled, and a lot more authentic if you're consistent in what you're presenting. The same thing with your visual presentation. You know, certain, certain of us are expected to present in a certain way. If I deviate from that, I'm going to throw my audience off. Um, something as simple as I went to work one day and I just really wanted to wear flats. I never wear flats. Most of my heels are a minimum of three inches. That's just my style. And do you know, like at least five people commented, are you wearing flats today? You wear flats? I never seen you in flats. Threw my audience completely off. Now most of that was just a pass through in the mail room or a hello, hi, good morning, good afternoon. But still, if I had something important to say to them, if I had an important message to convey to them, it would have been totally lost in transition because they were so concerned about the fact that my presentation was off that day. It was a little inconsistent. Now, my back thanked me, and sometimes that's more important. Well, we keep things in perspective and we need to make sure we're prioritizing. But if I had been delivering a really important message, my audience would have been floored because of the lack of consistency. Now, we don't have to get that ridiculous with it, but that is a really prime example of how not being consistent can take your audience out of the zone they need to be in to get what you came to get, give them. So that is so important. Let's be consistent. You know, we all have a day where we get to be off, but let's get back right on our game the very next moment, the very next day, by the very next presentation. We don't expect perfection. We just expect professionalism. And being professional means being consistent. This is Jody Lester, or JL, and you're on Elevated Living at elevateme.org. And until we next connect, I'm wishing you the very best of life. I will talk to you tomorrow.